Hi, I'm Brittany with Condi Systems, and today I'm going to show you how to make an iron-on patch. These come in a variety of different styles and shapes, such as an oval or a circle. But today I'm going to be doing a rectangle. First, let's go over the items you'll need. I have a blank rectangle patch, the image I'd like to display, sheet of protective paper, Condi Dye Trans Pro Spray, sticky lint roller, and you're going to need a hand iron when you iron on your patch to your final garment. What you'll want to do first is pre-press your patch. I have my press set at 400 degrees. You'll notice that I have a Teflon sheet. This is important because the adhesive that we use to iron on will still stick with our press, but it will not stick to our Teflon. So I'll need to make sure that I keep the adhesive side down, apply a sheet of protective paper on the top, and I'm going to pre-press this for 25 seconds using very heavy pressure. Once our preheat is finished, I can lift and swing away on my press. Your patch will be very hot. While it's warm, I'm going to go ahead and sticky lint roll my patch. Once you finish with your sticky lint roll, we're now ready to apply our image. Move my patch over to my table. I'm going to lightly mist Condi Dye Trans Pro Spray over my transfer. And I'm going to align my patch with my image. When you go to align your image, you'll notice that the stitching on the outside of your patch forms a little bit of a crease. This is why we're using very heavy pressure so we make sure that our color bleeds into every crevice. So I'll line this up. My image being slightly larger gives it plenty of room to bleed onto my patch. And the Condi Dye Trans Pro Spray should hold it in place. Once my patch is in place, I'm now ready to press. Once again, I'll have the adhesive on my patch lie directly on top of my Teflon. Apply a sheet of protective paper over the top, and using very heavy pressure, I'm pressing at 400 degrees for 45 seconds. And that sound means we're done, so I'm going to lift, swing away on my press, remove my top sheet of protective paper, and I'm going to peel off my transfer from my patch. I'm going to want to let my patch cool because it is very warm. And once it's cooled, it'll be ready for us to use. I've given my patch a few minutes to cool, and now it's ready for me to place on my garment. You can do this with a simple handheld iron. Just make sure that you use really high heat. I'm Brittany with Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us.